Photonus, it's, it's like a group of companies. We're uh, headquarters in France. Our core business is in night vision. Night vision is defense related, but the same technology can be applied actually in all kinds of very challenging scientific applications. And that's where Photonus Scientific evolved. We provide enabling technology to the marketplace. We go with huge companies that are, for instance, in the analytical market of MASPEC. We make a, make a range of products that enables them to do research in pharmaceuticals, in medical, in molecular biology. On the other side of the spectrum, we have research institutes, universities, typical small spin-off type of companies that are really, you know, the, the, the new Einsteins in a particular market segment. So the example that we have today and, and that, that we talk about is uh, what we call the Mantis 3, a product where we combine our detector technology into really an application. So we're, we're closer to our customer. So it is a part photonis, typical photonis technology related and combined with a scientific camera uh, from the company Amsterdam Scientific based in the Netherlands. What the Mantis 3 does and what it supports is single photon counting or imaging based on single photons coming into the detector. Let me give you an example. You have a, you have a laser beam and you excite a living structure. Some of that laser will go straight through the living uh, structure, but some of it will sort of react with a structure in it. So you have a fluorescence type of reaction, which is typically already where you enter the low light levels. And that is where photonics is. So the, the photons come in and we, with our technology, intensify them again. That is exactly the similarity what we do with night vision. So we intensify these incoming photons into something which gives more information. And we send it through into the camera where they hit a sensor. And this sensor is coming from CERN. It's a licensed product, it's called the Timepix 3. This is our uh, Mantis. Um, for uh, purposes of a demonstration, we have uh, the optics uh, lens uh, here. Here we have uh, our Cricut, and here is the camera with all the electronics for the readout. So here we have uh, the Cricut. You have some sockets for uh, powering the, the trickets and inside here behind the C-mount ring you can see the photocathodes that converts the uh, incoming uh, light, incoming photons into uh, electrons. Here you can see part of the optics, the relay lens optics that project the um, image onto the sensor of the Timepix uh, camera. And for the customer, there is a choice of photocathodes covering the range from 200 nanometers in the UV up to the 900 nanometers in the near infrared. It is really the end user that really knows what to do with it. Again, we enable something, it's like we give them a tool set that they know what to build that makes uh, being in Photonis uh, in this, this widespread of, of typical customers that we have, that's what makes it exciting.